So let's start by having you say and spell your name. Okay, my name is Eddie Bernard. It's E D D I E B E R N A R D. Awesome. So, what would you say for Saints? How does it affect the local community around here? You know, for me, being about 25 minutes south where it's much more kind of empty communally, uh, it's a town of 800 people, Star. It has been the only place that has made fresh, you know, fresh homebrew beer, craft beer in the past five, well, four years now. Um, and I'm a home brewer, so, and also there have been a number of us home brewers who really, we, we meet here on, a, it used to be Devil's Advocate, well, it still is Devil's Advocate, but it was created because of the, the, uh, the joy of trying new things, which Andrew, the brewer, also has. So for us, it's, it's not just, it's a community of like-minded people. Uh, who like to brew beer and drink it and just relax and be together. Yeah. yeah. So thinking back to all the time you've spent here, um, do you have a favorite event or activity, something that stands out in your mind is like, that was my favorite time at Four Saints? The Four Saints, um, you know, one thing that I'm really proud of with Four Saints is, and I've known these guys, like when they, I, I saw their name in the internet. Um, Joel McCloskey and Andrew Deming were looking for a space because they had decided they were going to make a brewery. We invited them down to where we are in Star because people were doing that, right? And they showed up and they, uh, we talked and talked and talked and they said, how about some beer? And you know, I've been brewing beer for over, since 1992. And you can taste somebody's beer and you know if they're good or bad. You know, and we were kind of like, well, I'm kind of curious about these guys. And once they had the beer, they said, how about some beers? Sure enough, uh, we, Adam, I don't know if you met the guy, Adam Landman with the big beard. We kind of were like, okay. You know, you taste it and then you know. And it's, then they're good. And Andrew is, uh, he's, you know, he's a scientist, really. He's, he's a crafts person. He's not going to make a flawed beer. If it does ever happen, it gets dumped. He yeah. doesn't hide it, it's done. He's a perfectionist. Yeah. So, so that gives me the basis to say I'm proud of how, in terms of my favorite event, things like this, when you get to see these guys be wholeheartedly thanking the community. And they're not kidding when they say it's about the community, because they said it from the start. And they're not trying to grow like mega, like some people do. They truly are about being here. Yeah. That's my favorite event. Yeah. Well, you were talking about the beer, so I'll ask you a question that I've asked a few other people. Do you have a favorite? Can you pick a favorite? Um, you know, Even if it's one of the devil's advocates, something special. Yeah, I have a lot. And I've actually worked with Andrew to develop some of the beers. And I've grown a lot of the ingredients in the beer sometimes. In, in a, I've grown figs that have gone in one. Um, I helped Andrew work on the Brute IPA when it first came out. Um, some grew it. Uh, I grew a lot of, I grow a lot of herbs. Um, but, uh, you know, there's so many. I want to say even like Omi, as flagship as it is, it's so good. The Hefeweizen is, is awesome. I mean, there are like standards that are some of my favorites and I, and I, I rotate through all the time. Yeah. Um, but one of my favorites probably is the, the Fig Brute IPA, which Joel named that one. It's called the Fig and Awesome. <laughs> they do have great names for yeah. beers. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, something about these beers, uh, when I, I mean, plenty of companies make good beers. But there's a fullness with these. It's not exactly maltiness, but it's a fullness, a whole mouthfeel thing that even on draft, even outside of this, this tap room, some other beers just come across as thin, comparatively. Yeah. Yeah, it's a balance. That's, yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite thing about this, this place. Okay, so one of my favorite experiences here in About Four Saints is, uh, about two years ago, I had some business, uh, kind of customers, clients, 
co salespeople come here from Germany, from near Munich, Germany. And they were going to spend one night. I had never met them before in person. And I decided that we we're going to bring them to Four Saints because I always heard Germans like drinking beer. So I brought them here. <clears throat> they decided that they would each have a flight. And so they got different beers. And they started to drink and go, okay, oh, okay. This is special. This is for special events, you know, or time, you know. Um, and then one guy says, he had four, you know, four, he says, it's hard to say which is the best because each one is like a beautiful woman. they all different, you know. And then, <clears throat> so that was that. They go back to Germany. I ended up, one of them came back to the U.S. a year later and I met him in Pittsburgh. And he said, you know what's so funny? Uh, from time to time I see a case of beer show up on the loading dock that uh, says like craft beer because we don't really have that much in Germany. And it's a case of like some mail order beer. He goes, okay, that's for Holland. He's like, okay, you know, he's like, he's, he said he's actually started to invest in a, a craft brewery in Germany because of the beer that those guys had here at Four Saints. So that's pretty cool, right? That's awesome. And I came back and I told Andrew and uh, Joel that Germans came here, like, who really understand a lot about beer and were so inspired by the special quality of each and every one of their beers. So that they're, they're doing it. They're starting it there in Germany now. Yeah, that's awesome. That's it, yeah, right? Thank you for okay. that. Say and spell your name. My name is Shane Bryson, S H A N E B R Y S O N. Awesome. So, how would you say Four Saints has affected the local community around here? Um, that's a really hard question to answer because they've affected the community in so many ways. Uh, with Saintly Sundays, with uh, raising money uh, off of. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Matt's. Uh, <laughs> Acting a fool. Uh, raising money every Sunday with a dollar off of every full, uh, full pour goes to a local charity. That wouldn't exist if it weren't for them. Um, every Sunday, or not every Sunday, I think it might be Saturdays, there's a cleanup uh, in downtown Asheboro that was orchestrated by Four Saints. They've really plugged themselves in the community in the time that they've been here. Awesome. So, personally, what has Four um, Saints meant to you? <laughs> well, I spend most of my time here. Um, I host trivia here on Thursdays, so uh, I've really enjoyed uh, being able to spend time with folks that come in to play trivia. Uh, I've gotten to know a lot of people that I wouldn't know otherwise. Um, it's kind of become my cheers. Yes. Yeah. So thinking back about time you've spent here, do you have a favorite event or activity or even moment that like flashes in your mind as your favorite time here? Um, <laughs> yes. There's a guy that comes to play trivia named Tim, and Tim loves to argue whether he's right and I'm wrong. And every time that I've ever proved Tim wrong has been my favorite time. But I, I love Tim. Tim's great. Yeah. Awesome. And you had a special message for Joel. Joel is a beautiful man. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, can we have you start by saying and spelling your name? Uh, and yes. you're going to look at me, by the way. Okay, um, Tiffany Cripps, T-I-F-F-A-N-E-Y-C-R-I-P-P-S. Awesome. So let's start off. Can you tell us, uh, over the past four years, what has Four Saints meant to this community? Um, actually, I did not know about Four Saints um, until back August of 2018. So I'm fairly new to the Four Saints community. Um, but in that short time, it's had a great impact on my life. So I can only imagine in the four years that it's been here, what kind of impact it's had on our community. Yeah. Well, so you've teased question number two, which is what has Four States meant to you? Very much. Um, it literally changed my life. Um, I met someone very special here. Um, and a lot of friends have come from it. So it's been a great impact. Yeah. 
So thinking back over the times that you've spent here, do you have one particular event or activity that you've been to, something here that happened here that kind of stands out as your, in your mind as your favorite? All of the trivia nights, um, but one in particular, office trivia, uh, the, for the show The Office. Awesome, um, awesome, well thank you. Mm -hmm. So let's start. Can we have you say and spell your name and tell us where you're from? James Gowdy, J-A-M-E-S-G-O-U-T-Y, and I'm from Asheboro. Been here for 15 years. Awesome. So over the past four years, how would you say Four Saints has affected the local community here? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I can put that in, in, into words. Uh, it's been amazing, actually, uh, for them to come here and do this and, and to create a place that we can come have beer because before 2008 we couldn't have beer in Ashburn. there was no place to get a drink or anything like that uh, i was telling joel earlier tonight it, this place reminds me of the place billy joel sings about in piano man you know the microphone smelled like a beer so <laughs> yeah. great place yeah so personally what would you say four saints has meant to you um uh, well, it's a place to come meet my friends. Uh, we've got a group that gets together every Wednesday night, goes out, and we come here about once every three or four weeks. Um, it's a place to come try different beers, uh, which is unusual in Asheboro, especially us being dry for so long. Uh, and I've got to where I love craft beer. I rarely drink a domestic anymore. Yeah. Um, so thinking back over the last four years, can you think of one particular event or activity here that just kind of stands out as a favorite to you? Uh, there's been a lot of them uh, because I come here a lot. Um, mm, I, that's a hard one. I, I don't know if that I could. I, I, I would say we had a we had a memorial event for Brooke, uh, not Brooke Smedley. Um, God, what was his first name? Mr. Smedley, the attorney that he and his daughter were the the, the main drivers behind the alcohol uh, vote in 2008, and that was special. Um, it was very, very special because people came out in honor of him. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you very much. So to start, can we have you say and spell your name? Uh, my name is Brooks Hedrick. It's B-R-O-O-K-S-H-E-D-R-I-C-K. Awesome. So over the past four years, how would you say Four Saints has affected the local community here? Us, they've been a great uh, a community participant socially. It created uh, a whole lot more downtown foot traffic. They uh, have become um, an out-of-town destination. Um, like I said, they've got tremendous social involvement both physically and monetarily in the community. So everything to me has been been positive. Yeah. Positive influence. So personally, what has Four Saints meant to you? Personally, Four Saints has meant to me is um, kind of a, a really good uh, income partner that uh, I own the facility that they are in. And so, uh, we, I feel like that we kind of have a partnership in what we've been doing and um, created some, some dynamics in downtown Asheboro. Um, it's obviously hard to deal with old buildings, but uh, they've been a great tenant to work with and, uh, and hopefully I've been a great landlord. <laughs> <laughs> so thinking about, back about um, time you've spent here, do you have a favorite memory or activity that happened here that stands out? I, honestly, uh, I think that uh, one of the things that I enjoyed most was the initial build out of the brewery, participating in uh, construction project, renovating you know a building that I've owned for or my family has owned for a number of years. Uh, setting up tanks in the back uh, you know it's it's been really really special to me yeah Joel told us about some of the fun stuff y'all found during that oh yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I had no idea it was there but um, but they informed me <laughs> <laughs> awesome well thank you okay So let's start by having you say and spell your name. Uh, my name is Dale Kennedy. Uh, it's D-A-L-E 
K E N N E D Y. Awesome. Not not the Northern Rich Kennedys. I'm a Southern Poor Kennedy. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so over the past um, four years, how would you say Four Saints has impacted this local community? Uh, Community-wise, uh, Four Saints has done amazing work. Just from the business standpoint, yes, but from a, a charity standpoint, a a standpoint of, of just absorbing this community, and, and and it was a it was a struggle from the beginning because of the the way the community initially got into alcohol and everything here was was that was a little iffy. Uh, I I was born and raised in Randleman, which you know is not right down the road, and the. Um, Randleman has always had beer sales. Ashboro never did, and it was just a it was a church, and I'll say church slash bootlegger issue uh, with thing, the way things went. But they've absorbed the community. They've done so much charity work. They do so much beyond the beer sales, just just to to bring. Tourism, probably, because I've heard people that say, "Well, we came to the zoo." You know, I've sat here and said that we came to the zoo, but we came here because we heard about it. So I think it's just it's just brought a togetherness in the community. Uh, like Joel will tell you if he gets the opportunity, this is not just a a brewery with beer and bartenders and patrons. It's a family, and and they've absorb me into that family I know that so that's it that's just it's just a family atmosphere yeah and so kind of playing off of that what has Four Saints meant to you personally uh, personally to me oh well okay once again see I can go into this without without the, the beer part because I've become so such good friends with the people uh, that are here because I mean you have you have the, the bartenders that are here tonight and the bartenders here before them that aren't here anymore that I've become friends with and you keep up with those people that's you know that's how you you, you just I, I love I love coming here for the beer and the people but it's just the family atmosphere you get the you get a feel that you're always welcome you're always talked to and it's just a, it's, it's something that you I, and I and I can say this because I go to a lot of breweries in other places I don't always get the family feel in, in all those places a lot of times you do you get a you get a you get a we want to answer your questions but you don't get the how's your daughter how's 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 the family how how are, how's this how's that and and you get that here and and that's not just from from the four year thing, but but I we ran into these guys at the beer festival in Greensboro three or four years before this place was even thought about. So, I mean, that's 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 the beauty of it. I mean, it, they, they just absorbed everybody into the community here yeah. and made a family out of it. Yeah. So thinking back on um, time you've spent here, do you have a favorite activity or event that they host here or something that stands out in your mind as, as kind of your favorite? Um, well, I really, um, uh, my daughter usually brings me here for Father's Day, so <laughs> I like that. That's kind of cool. Um, just the drawing in of the community for the, everything I do, the, uh, St. Patrick's Day, they always do something for that. Um, and, and just whenever there's an event here, they do it. Um, they also do a lot of events in in, in Randleman area, and uh, so I, it's beer introduction things. I, I could I could come up with a million things, but it just I think Father's Day when my daughter comes and says, "Come, you know, have a beer and let's do this for for Father's Day," and her husband brings uh, his father, and it's just a good thing. That's a good time. I'll I'll say that for that. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. No, no problem. So let's start by having you say and spell your name. All right, my name is Burton Kessler, B-U-R-T-O-N-K-E-S-L-E-R. 
Awesome. So can you tell us what Four Saints means to the local community here? Well, as a lifelong resident of Ashboro, um, I have seen the revitalization of this whole entire downtown area, and Four Saints plays a huge role in that, or has played a huge role in that. Um, the outside festivals that they've done have done a lot to um, bring the community together and to bring us all together as uh, a way to celebrate each other and our town, and I think that's wonderful. Yeah. And how about personally, like what does Four Saints mean to you? Uh, to me, uh, it, it's given me the opportunity to go out of my comfort zone and meet new people. Um, I've got uh, some of the closest friends I've ever had um, and I've met them as a result of Four Saints. Um, I would not have my, ex well not extended family, but my chosen family um, as a result of, of coming here and, and uh, meeting new people and talking with them and things like that. So. Uh, I've been very fortunate uh, that Four Saints has come into town and, and given people who uh, can can come here and enjoy this without the, the stigma of alcohol. You know, Ash Ashboro for so long has been against alcohol and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but um, but once uh, Four Saints came into uh, and was established, it, they, we were able to uh, kind of share our love for good beer and good company. Um, so I, I couldn't be more, um, uh, more pleased that, that Four Saints is here. Let's start by having you say and spell your name. My name is Steve Kim, S-T-E-V-E, -E, last name Kim, K-I-M. Awesome. So can you talk a little bit about what Four Saints has meant to this region? Just in um, terms of the beer and brewing and community atmosphere. It's just love everything they do. The people involved, Andrew and Joel and all their employees and staff and just incredible beers. I mean, just do such a wonderful job. And I mean, I can't speak highly enough about them. I mean, they're just wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So in your opinion, what is it like? What are some of the things about Four Saints that make, make it kind of stand out to you? I know definitely for Randolph County and Ashburn in general, kind of definitely kick-started everything and Joel you know kind of led the charge and all that and Andrew's such a meticulous brewer that you know everything that they do beer wise style wise is just spot on and it's fantastic yeah so thinking back over all the stuff that they brewed that you've had do you have can you pick favorites um, got multiple favorites you know Omi I love Upper Road which is what I'm drinking now um, love their uh, bread IPA farmhouse saison I mean it's just true to style, everything to do. Kolsch, Goza, love it, yeah. Yeah. Just and so, how beer is meant to be. Yeah. So, um, and I ask this because I know what you do. Um, <laughs> you know, how, how, how would you say that like your customers have accepted Four Saints? How does Four Saints kind of impact your business? No, definitely get people who you know, are interested and want to see Four Saints on tap or whatever we have in cans available and you know, goes well and limited releases do really well and, and definitely you know, do push that towards people that, you know, that this is like one of the best breweries in the Triad region. So yeah, it's a really good special beer. So let's start by having you say and spell your name. My name's Adam Landman, uh, A-D-A-M-L-A-N-D-M-A-N. Awesome. So how would you say Four Saints has affected the local community here? Of Asheboro? Yes. Yeah, uh, it's the first brewery in Asheboro, so it has, it's had a huge effect on the community. Um, the county being dry and you know recently having uh, voted alcohol in uh, and you know the, the the number of people that wish they had a place to go and be and hang out and uh, you know be with one another while they have a beer uh, it's an amazing change to Ashboro. yeah um, thinking personally what has Four Saints meant to you well having met these guys years and years ago uh, when we were all home brewing in garages and uh, this was kind of a dream that these guys had to open a brewery in Ashboro uh, uh, personally to me, uh, having brewed in Andrew's garage with him, uh, quite a few beers and uh, things like that, it's just a realization of a dream that I know these guys 
cooked up in a way to impact this community. So uh, I don't I don't know if I, I didn't personally have anything uh, related to that, but their dream and uh, you know realizing that in this place, um, just knowing that I knew them early on, I guess for me uh, yeah. personally is. Uh, and, it, and it, again, it gives us a place to be, you know, a place to go and to see them and ask what's brewing or see the people that you... I saw people today that, uh, other potters that I haven't seen in a year and they live two miles from me. But we, but we all come 20 miles here to, uh, to have a beer together or to have a beer and we see one another. So it's the first time I'm talking to these people in a year. And again, they just live a, you know, a two minute drive from me. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a gathering place. So, thinking thinking about time you've spent here, do you have a favorite activity or event that something something that stands out in your memory about Four Saints? Honestly, I don't spend a lot of time here. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I spend most of my time working at my place of work at Starworks. We have a tap room there where uh, we serve Four Saints beer, and I think we're one of their top customers in uh, sale of, of uh, wholesale beer. So. Most of my time is spent there. The time that I spend here is coming to pick up beer or uh, it's early and it's kind of off the clock or uh, um, you know, it's, uh, it's business-like, but it's also very personal in that they're not open yet. So I get to have kind of uh, af or behind the scenes access or you know, something like that where you know, I'll come in the back to pick up my beer and Andrew's back there making a beer and you know, say taste this or taste that. So uh, that's that's what I love about it is the the relationship, the intimate relationship that we have with these guys. Because I don't come down here every evening. You know, I, I work and then I go home. And, and we're 20 miles, we're almost 15, 20 miles away. So, uh, but I love, uh, I just love having a personal relationship with these guys and knowing, knowing that I've known them from the very beginning, you know. Yeah. I'm going to throw you a spare, an extra question because okay. of something you said earlier. Okay. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about the Mug Club and what the Mug yeah. Club kind of means to the local Potter community? Yeah. Well, you know, one of the most successful beers these guys have had is the Potter's Clay, because we have the pottery community, uh, um, you know, in Seagrove, and uh, the Potters, the Potters have a tradition of banding together and promoting causes. They're very charitable type people. So uh, when the guys started the brewery, I think it was a Kickstarter uh, reward where if you contribute a certain amount of money, you get to come into the, the mug club where you get a, a, a particular mug, this mug being made by uh, Bruce Golson at Bulldog Pottery. Uh, so since I contributed to the mug club being a potter myself um, and other things with Star Wars, you know, the history that I uh, told you before, we were invited to come to do that. Um, most folks had to buy into it. You know, you paid money. I guess I guess we had sweat equity or uh, but the mug club <clears throat> I don't know how many mugs they have, but there's hundreds and they're starting to auction more I think on Sunday and uh, uh, So potters just band together the guys will buy the mugs You can donate the mugs, you know, we donate the mugs uh, so that they can um, it's a it's an elite uh, uh, privilege or a brotherhood, you know, to be able to come up to the bar, order your beer in a in a special thing, and uh, and know that uh, you you have a, a a very unique thing to drink your beer of uh, your beer out of. So. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So to start, can we have you say and spell your name and tell us where you live? Sure. Uh, my name is Aaron McLendon, uh, A-A-R-O-N-M-C-L-E-N-D-O-N, -E uh, and I live here in Asheboro. Awesome. So can you tell us, over the, fast four, over the past four years, how has Four Saints affected the local community here? Uh, massively. It, it, it revolutionized. Um, you know the the downtown life uh, you know of course we have you know other businesses that serve alcohol you know around here but Ashboro has never seen its own brewery it you know it, it's brought a huge community to, to downtown and, and the the donations that they do and the, um, all the charitable stuff that the that they've accomplished over the past four years it, it's it's truly amazing so personally uh, what has Four Saints meant to you a lot 
A lot. I've, uh, I've been a part of the community uh, pretty much since day one. Um, and it's a great place to come and, you know, and wind down after, you know, work or a day off and, you know, sit down and have a beer, you know, with, you know, great people, so. And thinking back over the time, do you have a favorite activity or event that's happened here? Trivia. Trivia. Absolutely trivia. Um, the taco truck's a, a, a huge plus, but uh, I'm very active with the, uh, the trivia nights. Awesome. Whether or not I'm hosting or, or helping score, so. Awesome. Thank you very much. Sure, no problem. All right. All right, cool. Let's start by having you say and spell your name. Sarah Nieblas. It's um, Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, Nieblas is N is a Nancy, I-E, B is in boy, L-A-S. Awesome. So can you tell us a little bit about what Four Saints means to the local community here? Exactly, community. Um, I'm new here, like almost four years new here. I learned about this place through my son-in-law. And um, Andrew and Joel are a wonderful dynamic. And what they do is touch people in so many different ways. Um, Joel will touch people through conversations and heartfelt conversations and stuff. And Andrew shares things through flavor, like cooking. I mean, that's what beer is. But, so Andrew throws, throws his love in and shares with his community by brewing. And the things that they do, the thing that drew me and still draws me to Four Saints is everything that they do is based on their community. It's not about making a buck. It's not about making this business bigger. They could have expanded and gone to different places and opened up different tap rooms in different cities. But they're really about the community. Um, they're about ready to have their anniversary party this weekend and every anniversary weekend is all about um, contributing to nonprofit organizations throughout the community. Everybody wants to be a part of Four Saints because of what, of, what Four Saints is to the community. The biggest, it's funny because these mugs I mean, you can go and buy in Seagrove anywhere from $15 to $100 or more. But here, when they auction them off, the auctions are all for nonprofit organizations to go back to the community. And people just want to be a part of that. And so the amount of money that they raise and everything that they do is just amazing. So uh, to me, this community seems like a small community. But coming from a big city, when you look at Asheboro, it's actually not a small community. So the downtown is a small community, but you can go outside of that. And it's, it's a much bigger city, but still everybody wants to be a part of here because of what they represent. Yeah. So what about you? Like, what does Four Saints mean to you? To me, it's family and extension. I'm here, everybody always asks me, you're from the West Coast, what are you doing here? My daughter married a young man that she met in college, and he was from Asheboro, and he opened this place with them. And when he was leaving, I was moving here. I was in transition. And Joel and Andrew gave me an opportunity, and I loved it. And without them, I don't know that I would have thrived. I met so many people, not so many people, everybody. Everybody I know has come from here. My friends, my extended family has all come from here. People that I go to church with, people that I associate with outside of here, and then beyond that have all extended from here. And so I'm grateful beyond. And they've always treated me like family. Regardless of what's going on in here and the dynamics of here, it's all about love and, and how, how we can better and better each other, not just a business. And so for them, for me, they mean family and extended family and a community. And those are things that I've always wanted to be a part of. So I'm not going to get choked up and cry because I don't have my voice right now anyway. So, but they've, 
they've created a family for me that I don't know that I could have created here without them. Yeah. And it's all because of what they've done here. Their dynamic is unique. <laughs> and I love it because Joel and, and Andrew can be polar opposites and um, Joel can talk to people and meet them on this business level. And Andrew could too. That's just not his thing. Joel meets people on this other level and feeds them and thrives from that and people thrive from that from him. Andrew feeds people with flavors and taste and things that he wants to do better. It's not just about brewing a beer that's good for him. It's about brewing a beer that's good for everybody and something that, so it's about touching everybody in different ways. And so the two of them combined make this amazing duo. And they, like I said, they're polar opposites, but, and they may bicker, but who knows? I don't know, I've not really seen it, but I'm sure they probably would, but what they do works and it works for the community and it works for everybody that's here and that's why we're all here and we're all celebrating who they are and what they've accomplished. Yeah. And their wives, I, I, we talk about Andrew and we talk about Joel, but realistically, Kristen and Amy, their wives, they're owners too. And without them, they couldn't have what they have here. They hold the forefronts home and they take care of that stuff and then they come here after they've been teaching and working and being with the kids and, you know, they've um, Kristen and Joel have a young one and Amy and Andrew have teenagers. So either, I mean, again, we're polar opposites, but either takes a lot of work. And so for their families to come in and do this and be tired and still um, want, want to make this better and for everybody says a lot. And I think that speaks to a lot of people, especially in a community like this. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry. No, that was perfect. I mean, it's talk over. That was absolutely perfect. So if I could call in a couple of people here that have made a difference in my life and became my best friends. All right, so I finished my jumble. <laughs> <laughs> to me, this is what has kept me here. This was my immediate family, and Joel and Andrew created that for me and helped that. But if it wasn't for their personalities and their family and their beer, none of them would have been here when I was working here. Yep. And although y'all think I'm an extrovert, I'm not, I'm an introvert. I only talk about things that I love and talk about things that I have in common. And when I'm working, I communicate, so. <laughs> but. Y'all wouldn't have been friends if I didn't bond us. And I wouldn't have been friends with everybody else if it wasn't for these guys. So I'm very thankful for my family in North Carolina. No matter how bad the allergies are, the humidity and all that other stuff, I would never change it for the world. So thanks guys for everything that you've created. Okay. All righty. Let's start by having you say and spell your name. Vanessa Ornelas, V-A-N-E-S-S-A-O-R-N-E-L-A-S. -S -S -E -E awesome. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about what Four Saints means to the local community here? Um, it's brought so many people together. Um, I've met so many awesome people from the drink and draw and cleaning up the community and just getting involved in Asheboro. Um, we've just enjoyed Four Saints being here. It's brought love and friendship. Yeah. And so you personally, like mm. how, do, how does Four Saints impact you? Like what does it mean to you? Um, well, I've met people here and when I first moved here, we had to drive out of the city to get something to drink. So we were like, yay, we got something so close now. And um, once they opened up, we started coming here and we saw that they were putting back to the community um, to 
the women's shelter and um, cleaning it up. Like they have a once a month cleanup time and I volunteer with that and the um, music in the park. Um, they go back to the community, some of the funding from that and everything. And I am just involved with that and love that and support it. And that's one of my things that I um, enjoyed being here for. Yeah. And I'm going to throw you one more curveball okay. question. So thinking back to all the time you've spent here, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite memory or a favorite activity, something that kind of stands out in your mind as like, that's my favorite time at Four Saints? Um, when they have some good dance and music, I've brought my children, uh, my grandchildren, and we all love to dance. So we get them all up and everybody are looking at us like we're crazy because we got grandma dancing and daughters and grandchildren and then we even got dogs here <laughs> and um, that's what we enjoy and even my children love it. They come from seven different states to see grandma and see the music and drink really good beer. Oh wow. Yes. Awesome. Yes. And we well thank you. Thank you. So let's start by having you say and spell your name. Jen Parrish, P uh, J E N P A R R I S H. Awesome. So over the past four years, what has Four Saints meant to this community? Um, well, I, you know, honestly, I'll say I feel um, I own the bar, one of the first bars in town, um, Lumina Wine and Beer in town, and we did the and Joel and Kristen worked at my bar and just great people. But anyway, we. Um, were part of the Kickstarter. And um, I just think it was so exciting for people who were maybe not from our town, who invested in a dream that they had that was gonna benefit our whole community. Um, and I mean, really, but, you know, for any of us who own bars, I mean, this is what you want. It's, you just want a place for people to gather. Yeah. Yeah. So thinking personally, like, for, for you, me personally, what does Four Saints mean to you? And what is, uh, and even what does it mean to your business? Well, I think, I mean, I always thought, you know, even then people would say, are you worried about what's going to happen to your business? And I was like, no, you know, like, especially in a town like Asheboro, the more that things, the more reasons we give people to come downtown, the better it is for all of us. And, um, and I think particularly, I mean, I'm a wine girl, no surprise to everybody in town. I mean, I'm a wine drinker. That's how I opened a wine store and, and Jolie opened the beer, the beer place. But you know, what I realized about beer drinkers particularly is they travel you know, for breweries. And I kept saying to people, you know, our Asheboro, our community, our town, it's like right in the middle of the state, the heart of North Carolina. And it's like beer people will travel from one end of the state to the other and stop in Asheboro to come check this place out. If they're driving from Raleigh to any place else and they're within a 30 miles of a, of a brewery that they've heard a little something about, they'll come check it out. So I think it's been, you know, great because the thing I love about um, Four Saints too is that it's a different set of people that I see. At Lumina or that you might see at the Flying Pig or other places in town like we all bring this kind of unique draw of people who um, who are passionate about the things that we do so yeah so thinking about um, times you maybe have spent here or things that the brewery has done do you have a favorite activity or event something that stands out in your mind as a favorite well I mean you know for me I honestly I love this town I love the people in it I especially love Joel and Kristen their family they've meant a lot to me as long as I've known them and I'm super proud of them and excited for everything that they've done. And um, I, mean, I mean, I love that every time I come, I get to see them or other people that I know who, um, or who are the reason that I love this town, why I love living in this town. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. Okay. So let's get started. We'll, um, can we have you say and spell your name? Kate Pruitt, K-A-T-E-P-R-U-I-T-T. -T. Awesome. So can you talk a little bit about what Four Saints means to this community? My husband and I moved here in 2004 with two younger children and there was nothing in Randolph County except churches to connect people. And we are, you know, we did go to church for a while, but we are of the more liberal persuasion than the average Randolph County citizen. And we moved here because we couldn't afford Guilford County, which is where I'm from. And we landed in Randolph County. And so what Four Saints, it was a dry county completely before a referendum, I forget in what year. 
and um, Four Saints was the first place of connection in Randolph County. And what it meant to us, my son started coming here because he had grown up and he was then of legal age at that point. And he started coming here and he connected one of the bartenders here, Sarah Niebelis, well, I'll just give you her name, connected the lonely guys sitting at the bar. So it became a place for my son to connect to other people as an introvert. And gradually, my husband and I started coming here, and we started to meet the Four Saints people, and it became a place of connection for us. So as liberals in a conservative community, it became a place where we met on a common ground, and we could talk to people as people, and not let all that stuff get in the way. And we, <coughs> we, um, through the connections that Sarah made from some of us, we have now what we call, I call, the chosen family. We have chosen a group of people who, young people, different ages, a wide spectrum of ages, that we now, outside of Four Saints, are a family. And we all needed that. And my husband passed away in 2017, and this has been my connection. But it's a place where in Randolph County, all persuasions can meet, all economic levels can meet. We can all just be people. Yeah. So thinking back about time you've spent here, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite memory, a favorite event or activity, or just a favorite memory from time spent at Four Saints? Sure, there's nowhere else to dance in Asheboro, and I'll be perfectly honest with you, when I get a couple beers in me, I love to dance. And as an older woman, that's not pretty. And, but it's a place where you come and you feel like it's family and nobody cares and everybody just enjoys each other. And they've had some great bands here, so we can come and we can dance and we can drink beer and we can talk and connect as human beings. And I won the second place in the Halloween costume contest um, in 2018, which I'm very proud of and um, just had a good time. And what so was it's, I was the blue nun. I was a nun, but I had a blue costume and I had a picture of Pope. It was the 80s theme, so I had a picture of Pope John Paul and, you know, and it's just a fun place. It's just where people can connect and meet. And it all happened around craft beer. And that's the amazing thing, is that people have rallied around craft beer as an enjoyment and a pleasure, and it's connected people from, again, around here, every polit political persuasion, every socioeconomic class, every job category from, you know, labor, construction worker to CEO of a company. And it's amazing, and that's what I think a lot, it's, we're probably not unique in terms of craft brewery sites, and, and, but it's been a huge, amazing um, way for the community to, to connect. So let's start, if you can say and spell your name and tell us where you live. I'm Jonathan Phil, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N-T-H-I-L-L, -L, and I live in Asheboro, North Carolina. Awesome. So we're going to ask you a couple of questions about Four Saints. Sure. Um, so over the past four years, how would you say Four Saints has affected the local community here? Four Saints has been a, a boon to our community, to be honest, because they're the ones that host a lot of our community events. We love that they host things in our downtown community, that, that engages the businesses that are downtown as well as across our county. And, and they're almost a convener of uh, community opportunity or community events. Um, and I think that that goes beyond um, what most businesses do in their home communities. Yeah. And so this kind of ties in with that a little bit, but um, what, what, what would you say Four Saints has meant to you over the last four years? So uh, I, my situation may be unique, but I recently completed a doctoral dissertation at Four Saints. So there are few community places that are open after 6 p.m. Our coffee shops generally close, and Four Saints was a welcoming environment for me to come and pop, pop open my laptop 
and get some great work done while having a pint. And so Four Saints was a, was a great home for me to get work done. It was a great home for me to have fun with my family. And, and so in many regards, Four Saints has been a place for both work and play. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so just to add one more question to feed back in, I guess kind of to tie everything together. Do you have one maybe favorite event or memory from Four Saints? Aside from finishing a dissertation? Sure, sure. Um, I really have a great memory of the, of the trivia nights. Um, they do have a fantastic trivia uh, season, and, and we had the opportunity to sponsor a trivia night. And so uh, I operate a small co-working space, and it was great to have an opportunity to work with Four Saints and, and, and sponsor a trivia night that was both about us and Four Saints. Wonderful. Well, thank you. So we'll start by having you say and spell your name. All right, my name is Ian Thompson. It's I-A-N-T-H-O-M-S-E-N. -E awesome. So can you tell us what does Four Saints mean to the local community here? Sure. So for a long time, as I'm sure I've mentioned many times, you know, Ashborough was a, a dry city, like no alcohol allowed. And in a lot of ways, not that, you know, alcohol is a lone catalyst for social interaction, but it, it robbed the community of, of gathering places right people where people come together they sit they um, take their time over something not like going to a restaurant where you go in and you're kind of kind of cloistered within yourself you go in to eat your meal with you know a beer or, or a alcoholic drink you know you, you're, you're sitting down you're enjoying it you're spending time with people and that's something that Ashboro just didn't have. So the addition of that has built so many relationships within our community, made so many connections with people, business connections, um, friendships, you know, just all manner of these, you know, close tight knit relationships, which are integral to a community and a town, you know, growing and, and just becoming a place where people want to be. Yeah. So what about you personally? What does Four Saints mean to you? So interestingly, I'm, 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 I don't know whether I'm, I'm not proud of it or, or what, but <clears throat> my original attendance at Four Saints was based around something I was involved in at the time, which was actually a church plant. And it was based around the idea of uh, intentional small community. And it was supposed to be where you, you go somewhere in your, you know, close to where you live, somewhere you can have a sphere of influence and you, you meet people and you build relationships with people. Um, little did I know that out of that, we're going to be building some of the most important friendships and relationships in my life, you know. Um, and it went way beyond the scope of anything that I could ever have anticipated or planned on as a result of what I was, you know, originally attempting to do. And the added fact is, <clears throat> it's almost astounding the fact that here in Randolph County, North Carolina, you can come here and have such a high quality beer. It's not just average, it's good, you know. And I say that as somebody who's tasted several beers in their life. Um, it's kind of a big deal in terms of beer. So. So to start, can we have you say and spell your name? Sure. Travis Trotter, T-R-A-V-I-S, T-R-O-T-T-E-R. -T -T -E awesome. So over the past four years, how would you say Four Saints has affected the local community? Oh, wow. It's brought, um, it's, it's brought a big spotlight to Ashboro and Randolph County in general, being Randolph County's first brewery. Um, you know, from the, from the keep downtown Ashboro beautiful event they do to the run club, um, and all the other events and charities they give to St. Patrick's Day and all these other things, it, it, it's just been a total positive all the way around. Just awesome. everything. So personally, yeah. what would you say Four Saints has meant to you? Oh God, um, wow. You have like an hour? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joel and Andrew, they're just wonderful people. And, and the way you see them interact with, with other customers, um, or just folks they see out and about. You know, I've ran into them at Walmart or Aldi or wherever. And 
they're just wonderful people, just, just all the way around. They, they care about the people around Asheboro and Randolph County, and they care about their customers, of course, you know, like a good business owner should, but they're just overall good people. And, and not only that, but they make a fantastic product. Yeah. Indeed. So thinking back over time you've spent here, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite activity or event that kind of stands <laughs> out in your mind? Actually, yes. I was uh, actually this year I was the leprechaun for the St. Patrick's Day celebration. Uh, so I had to have my beard glittered. I can show you the picture later. Um, but that was such a blast. I got to walk around and interact with folks um, and represent the brewery, which is one of my favorite things to do. Uh, between that and hosting trivia nights down here, it's just wonderful to, to see a community come together around a place like this that we didn't have 10 years ago. Yeah. It, it's just absolutely wonderful. Yeah, awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. So let's start by having you say and spell your name. I'm Mac Watley, uh, M-A-C-W-H-A-T-L-E-Y. I'm the Randolph County uh, historian and uh, run the Randolph Room at the Randolph County Public Library. Awesome. So thinking back over the last four years, how would you say Four Saints has affected the local community? Well, it's more than four years because they were working on it for three years before that because the Mug Club and everything that we're celebrating tonight actually was two years before they opened. But uh, I would say that it has, it has legitimized the sale and consumption of alcohol in Asheboro, if not all of Randolph County, uh, because up until 2008 when we had the vote that legalized alcohol, it had been more than 40 years uh, as a dry county. In fact, I, Asheboro was the, the last large community municipality of I think over 50,000 that that had no alcohol sales no alcohol control at all right so uh, it it uh, you know the the story from the Baptists and all the people opposed to alcohol was that we would have drunks lying in the gutter and people throwing up on your shoes and you couldn't walk down the street without some seeing some boozy you know wastrel who was going to attack your children and uh, that has not proven to be the case. Thankfully. <laughs> so, um, what would you say, Four Saints, how, how, how has it impacted you personally? What well, does it mean to you? Um, well, I was a, one of the early Kickstarter supporters and I supported them uh, from the beginning. Uh, I uh, uh, owned part of a bottle shop back at, in the day and uh, they were. Uh, one of the first places they sold anything was there. Uh, they gave it away. Actually, they didn't sell it. <laughs> that would be wrong. Uh, but they gave it away and that popularized it and uh, it showed everyone that uh, Andrew was a hell of a brewer. And um, since then, I mean, that's how they got into the consciousness of the local community because their product was excellent, still is excellent. Uh, they have stayed there though because Joel has a, a, a feel, if not a genius, for marketing and, and how to um, give back to the community. Yeah. So thinking about time that you've spent here, do you have a favorite event or activity that just kind of stands out to you as your favorite thing here? Well, uh, not exactly here, but they uh, uh, have come to Franklinville uh, as part of the cascade of, of acceptance of alcohol. You know, after Ashboro voted it in, then, then uh, Seagrove voted it in, Ramsour Franklinville voted it in, and you know, that has helped all of our local economies. I'm elected official commissioner in Franklinville too, and we have a music festival there that UNCG students put on the One Mic Festival and uh, they um, you know wanted alcohol there and Joel got the permits brought it there personally sold it you know himself all all one Saturday you know and it and made it happen and um, I think you know uh, he was pleasantly surprised and we were thrilled he was surprised because 
we made it Franklinville, very small town on Deep River, made it much easier for him than actually selling it out the back door, where Asheboro has been very restrictive about it because of so many of the city council and powers that be in Asheboro still have that, you know, the demon rum gonna eat your mama kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. So let's start by having you say and spell your name. Uh, my name is Bruce Whiten, W-H-I-T-O-N. All right. So over the last four years, what would you say for Saints, how has it affected the local community? Well, I'm a little bit of a different case maybe because we, we moved here uh, right before the first anniversary. So we, were, we came in, um, but since I've been here, Four Saints is just, has recreated um, a community gathering place, something that, that was missing in a lot of American towns, I think. And I didn't realize the importance of it till we were in Europe traveling around. Um, and when I came here, here it was. Um, so yeah, we, we, we moved here May 1st, 2016, and took us a couple of weeks to get unpacked and find our way over here. Um, haven't left, <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's home, it's family. Um, we were just talking out there, uh, you know, about people I've met, you know, most of the people I know since I've been here for three years are either neighbors, church members, or people I've met at Four Saints. <laughs> That's my circle. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's a it's a spark for the community. It, it draws everybody together. Yeah. So thinking back on time you've spent here, is there a favorite activity or event, something that stands out in your mind as kind of your favorite thing that's happened here? Oh. <laughs> Tell us a story. <laughs> this is it. Um, oh, I don't know. We uh, we had a, a program uh, started when about two years ago, a drink and draw, uh, which I was sitting in here one Wednesday night because my wife does yoga and I come in here for senior daycare, and um, I saw these people over there and they were drawing and having a good time, and I thought. I kept watching, finally I said, oh, what the heck, all they can do is shame me and run me out. And uh, so I went and sat down and, and, you know, we started drawing and uh, the topic of the day and what do you know, that was fun, relaxing, you got to meet some nice people and I was hooked. And, you know, that, so that was a big part of my Wednesday night. Uh, but that's just, you know, one of the many things that goes on. You know, there's, there's always something. And like I keep telling Joel, that, you know, my, two of my favorite things about this place is there's no TV on the wall and no clock, you know? <laughs> yep. And that's, that's why we love it. Awesome. Can we start by having you say you spell your name and tell us where you live? My name is Barbara Wolf, B A R B A R A W O L F E, and I live here in Ashboro. Awesome. So, over the past four years, how would you say Four Saints has affected the local community? Uh, I think that Four Saints and their owners have been extremely involved in helping our community create downtown activities, get people here for all sorts of things tonight is just one example of it. Tuesday nights, there's always a food truck. There are lots of events here. Um, so I think that in that way, they have tried to bring our community to be better together. Yeah. So how about you personally? What has Four Saints meant to you? So I uh, enjoy meeting friends here periodically. I work with a local organization that does fundraisers and Four Saints has hosted that fundraiser. And I'm here this evening to thank Joel for what he does in this community and hosting that fundraiser here has been a big success for us. And this is probably gonna, I probably know the answer to this now, but can you talk a little bit about your favorite event or memory here at Four Saints? <laughs> 
Okay, so there are a, a couple. That fundraiser is one of them. And then Joel also hosted the um, Community Supported Agriculture, um, a farm here in our community, Heartstrong Farm, does a CSA. And they do pickups here, or they did last season. And so people would come in, they'd pick up their local produce, and um, have a beer with a friend. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>